Studio now includes support for visualizing federated graphs. When you are working with a federated graph in Studio, you'll see a label next to the graph name to let you know that the graph is federated. And the Schema SDL page now lets you see which subgraphs make up your API schema, where you can explore your schema with familiar ergonomics like Peak Preview and Go to Definition, share a link directly to any type or field in your API with a team member, filter out comments and deprecated fields from the view to focus just on the types that you're looking for, or download a copy of the SDL for working locally. Working with subgraphs often means coordinating work across multiple teams. To make collaboration easier, you can now define contact information for each subgraph using the contact directive on your SDL's schema object. The contact directive lets you add metadata to your schema to define who is responsible for maintaining this subgraph, a URL where they can be reached for discussion, and a description for brief context about the subgraph. And when you use the contact directive in your schema, Studio will automatically pull that data from the subgraph and show it throughout the application, like at the top of the SDL where it's rendered as subgraph metadata. And if you've defined a responsible party for your subgraph with the contact directive and included a contact URL, clicking it will take you directly to the best place to reach them, like a repository, a chat channel, or discussion forum. The schema reference also includes support for federated graphs. You can find a subgraphs column when exploring types and fields in your schema so you can easily see which subgraph each object originates from. And if you're using the contact directive to define subgraph owners, you'll see a contact card when you hover over the subgraph in the schema reference to let you quickly see who is responsible for that object and where to contact them for questions or support. Clicking the subgraph will take you to where it's defined in the subgraph SDL. Schema search now shows subgraphs for schema objects, so you can easily navigate to the subgraph for a type or field when searching the schema reference. Studio will also let you know when there is a problem with your federated graph's composition state. If your graph has composition errors, the federation label next to your graph name will change to show you that there is an error. Hovering over the label will show a quick summary, and you can click into the label to see the full error output to better understand what needs to be resolved for composition to succeed. Finally, Studios Explorer also has improved support for working with federated graphs. When you are building your operation, you can see which subgraphs different parts of your operation originate from by enabling subgraph hints from the Explorer settings menu. And if you'd like to preview how your server resolves the data for your operations, you can now see the query plan for your operation in the response panel. Working with federated graphs has never been easier. Start collaborating on your graph in Studio today.